Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 22478 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And as with recent builds on the dev channel, there's not a huge amount of changes. Um, what there is, is new Fluent Emojis. So if I open up the Emoji panel, here you go. Here's the new Emojis that uh, Microsoft have introduced with this build and they're introducing across all the all the platforms. So if you like emojis, there you go, you can see these new so-called fluent design ones. The other things that Microsoft talk about in this uh, build is they're testing the updating of the uh, update stack packages. So they can do, deliver updates through Windows updates rather than requiring full builds. And they're saying they're trying that with this. I don't know whether there is a build to test. Let's have a look. Or an update to test. This means they should be able to deliver features outside the normal release builds, or at least prepare the, the features. And you'll see you'll see something called update stack packages. So I don't know that there is anything to show you at the moment, but if it, if there is, then uh, it'll pop up there. Right, the rest of the stuff in the build is actually all fairly minor stuff. Um, they fixed some language I issue improvements. Uh, I'll tell you one good thing, Windows Hello uh, now works with the PC lid shut, so if you've got an external camera that uses Windows Hello and um, you uh, you go up to the machine, it sees you and then locks the machine. Previously, if the lid was shut, then you couldn't do that, so that's good. So if you're using a laptop in a dock mode or something like that, um, they've uh, it fixed some issues with indexing or improved the indexing for things like Outlook. Scrolling the mouse wheel on the volume icon in taskbar will now change the current volume level. That's pretty cool. Um, minor thing, but it's quite nice to see. So if you are down here on the on the volume and you scroll, I haven't got a mouse plugged in actually. I'm on my Surface Go at the moment. There's a few fixes of this build um, to fix some issues with taskbar, file explorer, um, widgets. Nothing too uh, of note. They've ex they, one of the things they have fixed is a, a blue screen or a green screen of death. Kernel security check error. That's good to see that fixed. I think they fixed some things in notification center as well. Not not popping out. There's still some known issues with this build. Uh, some users may see the screen and sleep timeout reduced. Um, that, so that's where it goes to sleep. I haven't seen that myself. Um, there's still some cases where you may be able to. Uh, just start typing from the taskbar. You've got to use the run command. I haven't seen that as well. And there's still a couple of issues with quick settings. But that's it with this build. It's um, there's not a huge amount to show you. The stack update I think is a good under the hood change that will make delivering updates quicker. And if you like emojis, then you know, be, you should like those. Okay, so that's it for this build video. Thanks for watching. As Microsoft introduced more features in Windows 11, I'll show you more things. Hopefully, we'll get Android apps soon, and I'll be able to show you that as well. Anyway, that's 22478 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel.